Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and Noob Gamers. Welcome to another episode of Star Citizen with me. Today's not really playing Star Citizen. It's going to be more about this incoming wipes and my thoughts on it. So, as we've got here, you can see Star Citizen Alpha 318 up and coming patches. Greetings, everyone. We want to provide a quick update on what to expect the up and coming releases. But our initial goal was to avoid the need to wipe the database for up and coming point patches. However, due to the current state of Alpha 3.18's database and the numerous hotfixes we've implemented since 3.18 went live, more than 50, we have concluded that a couple of full wipes, AAUEC, items and reputation won't be necessary to further improve the stabilization of the service. For those interested in what's going on under the hood, alongside my myriad of changes that shook up the database, we uncovered an issue that identified server related to player IDs which was and revealed through the error 140014. Uh, 40014. That some of you may have been encountering. While, we, while we've resolved this issue and many others like it, we still require a wipe to get all the cogs and wheels back into the right place. For both Alpha 3.18.1 and 3.18.2, we will perform these wipes alongside the hearty list of improvements and optimizations, which will hopefully make your gaming experience much smoother. Now, so my thoughts on this is, when it was announced that there was going to be a wipe, it didn't phase me. I've been through a couple of wipes anyway. But in my opinion, 3.18 has never felt like it's actually finished. It's never felt like it was released. It, it felt like it was still in almost PTU for me. There were so many issues with 3.18 that I've not put it in my mind, 3.18 as a finalized version. So, the, the fact that the wipes are coming doesn't phase me. I've not even, with 3.18, begun to, to play the game in anger um, and with any purpose. I haven't thought about going to earn money and reputation to get ships. I, I just haven't done that because it doesn't feel finished to me. And there's probably going to be a few people in the same boat that are not going to feel like the game was finished anyway. So they're not going to be too bothered about it. Plus, alongside that, you've got people who couldn't get in the game. And so it's right for them that, you know, this wipe it comes, uh, puts everybody back on to equal footing when they start the game. And obviously with the um, credits exploit, with the cargo running, I think it's only right. Um, it just feels like the game's a mess to me at the moment with this 3.18. So I feel like a reset would have been needed anyway just to put everything straight in everybody's minds. And like I said, for me, I never even played the game with purpose when 3.18 came out because it didn't feel like it was finished to me and like it was a proper release. And if it had gone well and people would have got in and we could have been playing it and then 3.18.1 come out, I could see then why people would be getting mad about it. But for me, it doesn't feel like it's a, it's actually been released. It feels like it was still just in, um, in testing. Uh, so that for me is my thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know some people might be pissed about it, but I feel like it's fine um, because I never went and played the game in that way because it didn't feel finished to me. So let me know what you guys think about it all and um, yeah, look forward to reading some of them comments. So yeah, that's the update on that. And um, I know there's probably a few people that have done updates on this, but I thought I'd give my views on it and why I feel like it doesn't. It's not a massive issue um, because, to me, the game was didn't feel like it had been, or three eighteen didn't feel like it had been finished and tested proper anyway. The way we can combat this, guys, is to make sure we all jump into the PTU and actually do something with this. Actually, um, test the servers and make sure they're running smooth and all that stuff for the for CIG and work on that. And our good friend of ours on Discord called um, Dark Soul, he put in um, and maybe an incentive. So let's have a look at him, uh, his his um, thing, his post. So here's Dark Souls post on what he put, and this is like a, a, an idea he has as an incentive. This would be a good incentive to get people playing 
the PTUs. It would be nice if someone like CIG, um, if, if, if CIG themselves took something like this on board and basically rewarded you for time that you spent in, in the PTU testing out and server stress testing and all that stuff. So I'm going to leave this up. So basically saying for every hour you play, you get 50 to 1,000 credits, but it's not permanent. It's only for the, for the live drop when it drops. And then for five hours in the PTU, you'll get like an armor, but that's not permanent. And then in the PTU basic um, qualifying missions and then uh, 15 hours, maybe having your faction uh, or your, your rep set to level two. So that's a good idea. So maybe maybe something like that would help people uh, jump in the PTU and do some stress testing. Because I know a lot of people will feel like this game, there's no point in playing it and they'll just put it down. They won't want to even use it. And that'll be a shame. We need to be get on there, guys, and, and be stress testing this thing. So that's my thoughts on it. And um, I'd love to hear yours in the comments, guys. And um, yeah, we'll see you out on the verse. Just keep an eye on new videos. I'm just going to create content with the patches that is to come out and um, do start guides and stuff like that ready for when the game does drop and we can start playing it with purpose so yeah so we hope you like this guys and uh, we'll see you guys out there